It's beef time in the house. Are you ready for this beef? I am. Let's have some of this beef. Today is all about honoring the holy matrimony between food and my mouth. Also, there's a wedding. I'll be meeting the badass Uzbek chef in charge of putting 350 hot meals in front of guests with some serious appetites. Perfect. Perfect. I'll get a behind the scenes look, seeing how the madness in the kitchen transforms into satisfied guests in the ballroom. Dude, these guys are some of the best servers I've ever experienced anywhere. So remember to RSVP, because today I'm tying the knot with Uzbekistan's tastiest traditional food. Today we're crashing a double wedding. It's gonna be amazing. And the permission actually was given by the groom. Oh, that's really? dangerous, man. You gotta get permission from the bride. <laughs> double weddings are quite rare, but the upside, two weddings for the price of one. Our people love celebrations. They prepare for a very long time and they will make sure that everyone they know is involved on this very special day. Awesome, I can't wait. Let's start by checking out the kitchen. The order of eating operations was a little confusing to me. As soon as I arrived, the tables were already full of food. Now you said there's three main courses, but there's kind of like finger food. Oh yeah, too. when we say three main courses, we mean three food to be served on a table, which is already filled up with okay. cakes, fruits, sausages, everything, man. But all of this is a cross between drinking food or finger food. The real dinner is about to begin. The festivities are going on upstairs. Dinner's about to start. We're heading to the kitchen right now to see exactly what they've prepared. Behind each buzzed up guest ripping it up on the dance floor is a hardworking kitchen staff member. And leading all of them is this man. Hello, sir. Hello. Nice to meet you. Course one, mastava. It's a very traditional dish that's starting with mastava. It's the soup with the rice. When you eat this kind of food, how does it make you feel? It's like a ratatouille, remember? Like smacked down to his childhood, the mother's food, it's exactly the same. Mastava is made with rice, beef, and lots of vegetables, like carrot, onion, potato, then paprika, salt, and plenty of herbs. This starts cooking five to six hours before serving. It's about to get crazy. There's people very excited. There's a band, there's relatives mingling, meeting each other. There's some drinking going on. But for me, the real fun is here right it now. It is here. This is nuts. This huge cauldron of soup about to take off and then on to the next course. That smells really good, like a vegetable stew. The great thing about this food is that most of the vegetables are like semi-cooked. Gives you a really nice, fresh aftertaste. All right, so now he's gonna dish out for himself. Okay, I can give you my stamp of approval if you want. Yeah, that's good, I'd put in more salt again. Yeah. I like that he's giving me the sampling bowl though. All right, right now, preparation is underway. They're moving the bowls behind the pazan. It's a countdown to how yeah. fast can they get it on the table. Yeah. The final ingredient going in right now, you got this. This food should be really hot and fresh. So they are trying to make sure to get this soup as so, quicker as possible. Chef is doing the final taste, he's handing it to me. Perfect. Perfect. That's outstanding. The freshness that those, those herbs bring to it. Just that extra pinch of salt, that hit of herbs. Oh my yeah. lord, that is Man. delicious. Did they just do a little prayer? Yeah, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim He's trying to make sure that it's gonna be good. The servers are quick to grab and deliver the mastava while it's still steaming. 350 bowls later and guests are looking pleased with the first course. What is going on here? This is a heat lamp, right? Yeah. What are they heating up? They're heating up a very good musical instrument. Oh my God, it's hot. This is one of the oldest musical instruments. We call it doira, which means round, which means circle. And the reason why they're heating up is the leather stretching up to make a... Jesus Christ. I mean, jeepers. Do you want to try? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you hit it way harder. Hit it with the fingers. Yeah. Oh, man. That was pretty good. We're done. Nice. More food. Yeah. That's awesome. 
course two, most eat streak. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, boy. Dude, these guys are some of the best servers I've ever experienced anywhere. This dish also takes about six hours to prepare, made mainly of mung beans, rice, and beef. You don't see the ingredients, but the texture is really, really rich. It's one of my favorites. So the dish may not appear glamorous, it's delivered in style, with servers hauling ass to the ballroom and chucking plates back and forth. Guys, they just finished their meal service, which was insane, throwing plates to each other. They were gracious enough to give us this plate right here. The whole spread here, you said almost like a paste with the sour cream on top. Yeah, because right. the taste is so rich, you have to blend with something. Okay, let's go for it, man. Let's go for it. A little bit of sour cream. Let's go for it. Oh, it's like a mung bean punch. So much mung bean. Yeah. There's very lentily like beany in there, but not like crazy salty, just nicely, mildly seasoned. Oh, I like it. That's a very hearty food. Is this a food more for celebration? Uh, not necessarily, but it just takes time and energy to cook. So if you cook at home, it's like three, four hours devoting to this. And again, whatever you try to cook, like in massive chunks, gets extra tasty. The best thing I could compare it to is kind of refried beans, but you know, instead of a kidney bean, it's a mung bean. It has a strong, nice bean flavor with a bit of beef in there. Love it. Now that I've gotten a taste of the kitchen action, the Cruz and I head upstairs into the mouth of the beast. Unrivaled wedding energy. Dancing, eating, far more drinking than I expected, and the best live entertainment money can pay for. This is a double wedding. Two brothers, both getting married on the same day, and the wedding party said they'd be happy to have us join. Oh, the wife and all look happy. If the brides look less than stunned about the wedding, it's not just because of my presence here. Throughout the festivities, while everyone else is getting wasted, these two will almost never crack a smile. Even though this is a day of celebration, it's also the day these women leave their families and become part of a new family. Course three, beef dim llama. I'm on my way now. I'm on my way now. Hi, it's me again. I came back. Now, what is this dish here? This is lean beef cooked for five to six hours, making it very tender. It's also the final course for the evening. He's taking a sip of the broth. I love this kitchen, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is the sauce coming off yeah. of the stewed beef. That is to die for. It like warmed my heart. Whatever iciness and darkness that was in my heart still, quite a lot, gone. Yeah. At least for the next hour. Wow, super beefy. I didn't even have the meat. I trust you, bro. Yeah. It's like a juice version of the meat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then here, immaculate presentation. He's scooping up dish by dish, portioning it out, getting a little bit of juice, a little bit of meat, and then it's getting garnished with a lemon, a tomato, a little bit of herbs, and then that's it. I think at this point, we need to really commit to the party up there, crash some tables, and maybe even have a couple drinks. Once you make it, you'll be welcome at any table. All right, let's head up. Let's head up. I'm on my way now. I've just realized this reception room is divided with men on one side and women on the other. And after taking a stroll through the men's section, it did not take long to get sucked into a game of drink the drink. People here, at least people in this room, are serious about drinking. Instead of trying to explain that I had an early flight tomorrow, I decided to make a gracious but quick getaway. This place is so overwhelming. People dancing, inviting me in. I did this at one point, and then all this food right here. I feel like a king. Yes, this is the point to make you feel like a king. Guys, there is a moment of silence right now, and I just want to say how grateful I am for this moment to be here, part of the celebration, and we're about to jump in to this course that we just saw in the kitchen. Oh, dude, you said it was boiled for four hours. It's, yeah, at least for four hours, and you can feel it. Yeah, it's so, so, so tender. <laughs> Yo, boy, it's beef time in the house. Are you ready for this beef? I am. Let's have some of this beef. Quick now, 
spot. The beef, very delicious, very yummy. I love it. My first Uzbek wedding ever, and it was a double wedding. How lucky is that? So much fun, so many new experiences, new flavors, things I've never seen before. Thank you so much, that was awesome. No problem, it's my pleasure. For you guys, as always, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about one trip check out the links in the description down below i am gonna see you next time a, a peace. peace all right more shots let's go more shots